There was a time in my life not too long ago when I was pre-diabetic, extremely unhealthy, and feeling low energy all the time. I have to say it's much more exciting knowing how to use food to live vibrantly happy and healthy every day. My name is Adam Hart, and I want to welcome you to the power of food. Here we are again, the Power of Food Cooking Show. Really happy that you can join us today. Um, you know, I'm a big intention guy, everything for a reason. So I believe you're here for a reason as I get this chance to share a little bit of time with you. Uh, I'm mindful that I wanna, I wanna at least give you something of value so that when you walk out of this after the first, you know, just a few minutes that you're spending with me, um, you're gonna get some information that you could put into use. And we're gonna be doing a recipe today that I find, especially as we get into uh, some of the hotter weather, uh, it's really just a, a beautiful uh, way to share some love with your family and your friends, and it's how to make your own salsa. Essentially, this is my uh, pistachio mango salsa from the Power Food book. It's one I've been using and sharing um, probably for about eight, nine years now, and it's just such a, a phenomenal way to bring some freshness into your day. Why not do that with a salsa? Now, normally store-bought salsa, especially if it's not organic, you know, you're getting a lot of preservatives, a lot of chemicals within um, the different ingredients that have been used uh, to, to produce it. Um, so I tend to try and do as much as I can local, as much as I can fresh, organic as possible. Um, and that just gives you that extra nourishment, your family, and uh, makes us feel that much better. So let's get started. We got our obviously number one ingredient for uh, any salsa, nice fresh tomatoes. Um, if you're growing your own tomatoes at home, good for you. It's one of the most uh, phenomenal things that, um, that we try to grow uh, in our home. It doesn't always work out, but when it does, uh, I don't know anything better, cucumber or a few other uh, things that we grow, but tomatoes by far, when you get a fresh tomato, you guys who do that, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so there's uh, a couple cups of uh, fresh tomato. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of uh, the sea salt, also, um, option is, is uh, a rock salt of some kind. I know the most popular one that, that many of us know is the Himalayan pink salt. There's many variations of sea salts and rock salts, but it's an electrolyte. And I love it in there just to really give everything that nice pop and, uh, and flavor that we're looking for. I'm gonna throw in some garlic. Now that's one of those that's a hit, a hit or miss. It's raw garlic. So if you wanna maybe saute your garlic first to cut out some of the power of the garlic, because it tends to really overpopulate uh, the, um, the recipe, but I love it. And I think when you have it in combination with some of these other ingredients, it works really, really well. So I'm throwing in some pistachios, great essential fatty acids, good protein source, also gives it a nice crunch. I didn't throw in a whole lot, but definitely feel free to throw, throw in as much as you want, you know, a cup, two cups, three cups. Um, I love it with a lot of pistachio. I just don't have a lot with me, so I just threw in a little bit there for you guys. Uh, next off, we got a little bit of sweetness, and this is the obviously pistachio mango salsa. So we gotta have some mango. Uh, I'm throwing in a good uh, one full mango. It's a little brown, the mango, but that's okay. Um, you know, when you, when you get a mango, you just wanna test the outside that it's nice and soft. You don't want it too mushy, but you don't want it too hard um, because then it's not gonna be ripe and ready to go. So this is actually quite good, even though it's a little bit brown. It's got a nice sweetness to it, and that's, the, that's what you're looking for to counteract the impact of the garlic as well. It's just something that's gonna give it a little pop of sweetness. So the mango is a phenomenal way to do that. Now, another one that uh, is either hit or miss for some is raw onions. And like the garlic, you can saute that first to, uh, to avoid uh, any of the harshness that might come for you from raw onions. I tend to love it. This is a red onion. Um, I find it a little bit easier to digest than white onions. Uh, I'm just gonna give that a quick little mix to get it going. You can see, you, 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 can, you can prepare uh, a, a real uh, solid amount of, of uh, salsa is going to cost you a fraction of what it costs inside the grocery store. Um, and that will last, you know, in a container in your fridge, you know, four, five, six days. It actually, as it marinates in its own juice over the next two, three days, it becomes even better. So I highly recommend making a big portion. You're going to go through it so fast anyway, you might as well double up the portion. So now I'm throwing in some cilantro. Cilantro, just a great detoxifying herb. 
Um, really uh, another one of those ingredients that you either love it or you don't. So if you don't like uh, cilantro, throw in some parsley or even some basil. That's a phenomenal uh, uh, substitution, the basil for, uh, for the parsley. Just really great. So you can see all those really nice colors in there. Green, yellow, red. You got the, uh, the purple from the onion. Just really, really amazing stuff. And we're going to finish it off by cutting up a, a lemon. I love having lemon juice uh, inside a, a salsa. I think a good salsa has either lime or lemon juice in it. And so I'm just pre-rolling the, the, the lemon just to get it a little bit soft and then I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze some on there. If you have a, an actual juice uh, squeezer, go for it. Otherwise, I just use my hand, catch all the seeds and let the lemon juice just kind of fall into the, into the bowl. Sometimes you'll get a seed that actually falls in there with it. Don't worry about it. Just pick it out if you want or leave it in there. Surprise ingredient. No, don't do that. Okay. A little bit of lemon juice. Throw that right in there. Awesome. So there's a, a really fantastic salsa right off the bat, but I want to add in one more ingredient and it's one of the most powerful foods that I consume um, pretty much on a daily basis. And it's on the cover of the Power Food book, which you can see right there, the avocado. Now I love to add avocado in mainly because I don't think my kids get enough fat in their diet, uh, especially healthy fat. So doing an avocado inside some salsa, uh, knowing that they, they like to eat the salsa, it's just a great way to kind of hide a little extra health within, within there. And they don't mind avocado actually. I'll throw avocado into smoothies. You know, it, adds, it you know, becomes a thickener for foods that you, uh, you might not think about. So even for soups, um, a really great uh, idea as well. So all I'm doing is I just uh, cut it open, got rid of the pit. You know, for a snack, I'll even just grab an avocado, throw in some hemp seeds right in that hole and just, that's a phenomenal afternoon snack. Um, but inside the salsa it goes. And instead of cutting it up into small little squares, which you can definitely do, I'm just getting down and dirty here really quick. Um, that's the way I work in my kitchen. Although, you know, in the Power Food, it's got really clean recipes and, and certain amounts to follow. But once you get good at, uh, at mixing and matching these types of ingredients, you just start to play and have fun. I mean, instead of mango, you could have done any other fruit. Uh, you know, like an apple would be fantastic in there. Um, a pear salsa. Wow, that'd be fantastic too. So I'm just going to cut up all that perfect avocado. Now, like the, uh, the mango avocado, you want it to be just nice and tender um, when, you, when you touch the outside. You don't want it too mushy and definitely don't want it too hard. But you can see that actually was a perfect, perfect avocado. Uh, and just a great, great, great thing. So let's just mix that up. Wipe my hands off. All right, so look at that. We got a huge, huge, beautiful bowl of salsa ready to go. And now the key here is what do you eat it with? Well, because you got such amazing nutritional value in all these ingredients, don't worry about what you choose to eat it with. If you want it on bread, if you want it on whatever chips you like, go ahead and do that. But I highly recommend if you're going to do chips, these are the guys that I have here. Um, I'll show you the package. Um, it's pretty mangled up because as soon as we come home with this bag, my kids always tear it open to get at it. But that's the Cape Passa chips, non-genetically modified corn. So if you're going to do a corn chip, I highly recommend you go with non-GMO corn. But that's just a great way to enjoy your salsa. You know, you put so much love and energy into creating this for yourself or your family. Why not do it with a healthier style chip? And that's that guy right there. Just dig right in. Now, this is really big and chunky. If you want, you can even blend that up just a little bit to not have it so chunky, but I love it this way. So I'm just going to dig in. Happy you're here with me. That's the uh, pistachio mango salsa. Come back again for the next episode of the Power Food Cooking Show. Have a wonderful day.